Okay, hi everybody. So we're finding the flux of a vector field through this thing. So first, let's draw it. It keeps going up and down. It's an infinite cylinder. So x squared plus y squared equals 1. Um, maybe I'll put in words, defines an infinite cylinder in x, y, z space. Now, how did I know that I was in x, y, z space? How come I didn't know that I was just in x, y, and I had a circle in just the x, y space? Or I guess it would be this circle in the xy space here, xy plane. How did I know I wasn't just here? Well, because the vector field is the vector field k hat, which really means we're taking xyz to 0, 0, 1. k hat is the third dimension. And so that's how I knew that I wasn't in the plane, that there was secretly also a z variable, which this equation ignores, and which is why we stretch the circle up and down in the z direction everywhere. Now, okay, so that equation defines an infinite cylinder in xyz space, um, not just a circle. Um, and the only reason we know is because of this vector field k hat, or k, I don't know, whatever it is. Okay, so. What are we doing? So um, this cylinder, the normal vector, the normal vector, the normal vectors at points on, let's call this cylinder S for surface, a two-dimensional surface. The normal vectors at points on S point parallel to the xy plane, All right? So let's draw some of them. So this normal vector points there, this one points there, uh, so does the one above it, so does the one above this one, and sort of they all point, They, in other words, they don't point up. They do not point up at all. They do not point down at all. They always point parallel to this xy plane, okay? These are all the normal vectors. Or maybe I'll call them n hat, or unit normal vectors. Okay, so then back to words. Um, the vector field, k arrow means really this vector field which completely ignores x, y, z, and always points up. And I will say always points up. OK, so let's draw that. Let's draw this vector field in blue. Um, at every point on the surface, it just points up. Points up. Here it points up. Here it points up. Here it points up. Everywhere it points up. Okay. Therefore, dot product of this vector field with the unit normal vectors is always zero. Flux is the integral of this dot product, dot product function. Now, how is it a function? Well, this is a function because at every point on the surface, we take the dot product of these two vectors and get a number. So at every point on the surface, um, this thing spits out a number. Um, 
So it's a function from the surface to the real numbers. And it takes a point on the surface and it spits out the dot product of the vector field at that point, right? This vector field at that point with what? Well, the, the unit normal vector at that point. And that is always zero. Flux is the integral of this dot product function, which is always zero, which is always zero. So the integral is zero. So flux equals zero. Okay, that's part A. Good. So I just had to look at this and I didn't even have to compute the integral because I knew from geometry, from understanding how the, the, the vector field and the normal vectors were related and they're always orthogonal, that their dot product is zero. Excellent. No computation required. No computing needed. Just geometry. And by geometry, what do I mean? I just mean like seeing that the way that this vector field and the normal vectors sit, they will always have dot product zero. Okay, let's do part B. Find the flux of j through the square in the xz plane that has side lengths 1. Okay, so first we'll draw a picture. Here, any square in the xz plane that has side lengths 1. Here we have a square. Let's call this s for surface. It's a two-dimensional surface in three-dimensional space. Here's the xz plane and here's the y dimension coming out there. Okay, so the integral over s of the dot product of this vector field and um, j, well, well no, vector field is j hat with what? With the unit normal vector. That's what we're integrating. This is flux. I suppose this is sort of a formula. So in words, I'll say um, f is the function that sends a point in space to another point in space, namely j hat. This is j hat, or j arrow. And it just means second, so i hat, j hat, k hat is what engineers usually write, so we're sort of learning their notation. But this is obviously better in notation, it's simpler. Um, so we'll just use that. Um, is the vector field, is the vector field pointing always in the same direction, always along the y-axis, or parallel to, so in this case, along means parallel y-axis. So let's draw, let's draw that in purple, this vector field. Um, here it's pointing along the y-axis, here it's uh, pointing along the y-axis, there it's pointing. And really where we care about it is not over here, but we care about what it's doing on this unit square with side lengths 1, and it's always just pointing this way. Okay? And, but guess what? You know, that is exactly, um, that's exactly where the unit normals to the square are pointing, which is exactly the unit normal uh, to the square. Okay, so the dot product of these vectors, you know, the unit normal just points the exact same way, it'll just be 1. Okay, this has unit length. The unit normal has unit length, and their dot product it will just be 1. Or I guess we could choose the unit normals to the square to be pointing the other direction. That's our choice of which normal vectors we should choose. And then these dot products would always be negative 1. So I guess we'll, we'll just say 
So the dot product is always 1 or minus 1, depending on our choice of unit normal direction. Okay, and that means, what, what, what does that mean for the formula? The integral over our surface of the function 1, or minus 1, so I'll put plus minus 1, well, that's just plus or minus the volume of s. Well, that's the two-dimensional volume, because s is a two-dimensional surface, which is plus or minus the area. It's just another word, which is plus or minus, well, 1 times 1, base times height. And so this is the flux. And that's it. That's the answer. So I have my picture, um, I have my words, and I have my formulas. Um, up here I have a picture, uh, words, and sort of formulas. I mean, you could make a case that that's a formula, um, that this is a formula. But anyway, I've explained the answer. The first answer is zero flux. The second answer is one or minus one flux.